Florida will ban anyone under 14 owning a social media account from January 2025, deleting existing accounts. The bill was signed by DeSantis. Um, so, okay, you go first. Do you want, or do you want me to go first? I I can go first. I, I would just start by saying this one's going to split opinion. There are yeah. some people who take the trad thing further than I would, because I, I would say I get where they're coming from with this, but I don't think this is the right way to do it. This mm. might even produce good results, but it's, I don't think it's the right way to do it. I think this should be the parent's choice and the parent's responsibility. And if DeSantis is looking at that and mm. saying, well, they're not doing their choice and responsibility, it's not really his place to put the weight on the scale to force their hand. I don't think. It's up to them. No. It's a libertarian country. Now, at the same time, he is, a, he is a legislator. So if it's anyone's responsibility, it's his. So I'm not saying what he's doing here is like clearly wrong or unethical. I just don't. I think it's too far. And there are some people that believe that, that kids should never have access to social media. I suspect those people have not had kids. Because I think what will happen yeah. is they will find a way. Because what, what you're talking about there, social media is not just some discrete plague. It is the social fabric of our nations now, whether you like it or not. It's full of dangers, just like real life is. Yes. But you have to engage with those dangers because it's also full of all the people they want to interact with and all the things they care about and all the things they care, all, all the things they're ever going to care about um, are, are going to come now, probably, through the internet, through social media. They are going to find a way, and it's just like the river. If you try and block the river with your hand, it's going to find a way around your hand. It's just going to find a completely. more destructive answer. Sorry, go on. It. No, I agree completely. Um, in terms of, look, uh, I, I, want the, I want the parents to do this. Uh, this is the parents' job. This is not the job. I, I don't like the government getting involved in stuff like this uh, in terms of banning or preventing things. First of all, how are you going to actually in well, any way be, be able to, to enforce? How yeah. are you going to, to actually enact this? Yes. Secondly, um, it is like you say, the, the, even the most stringent parent, uh, you should have brought that up a little bit, uh, it, it can break through. Uh, I was thinking a little bit. What, what, uh, what, no, it is the parents' responsibility we're talking about children uh, my mom is a a preschool kindergarten teacher I was talking about this earlier and you know uh, she, so she she has little kids three to three to four years old that's the kids that's the ages that she teaches they will they're addicted they're completely if they don't have their ipad for five seconds they they scream they, they have complete meltdowns and that's not anyone's fault but the parents that's not the social media you know? or the ipad that's that's how they've been treated with the yeah that that that, that is yes. a simple matter of the, the, the pavlovian positive and negative reinforcement yes exactly yeah. yes it's exactly it's exactly pavlovian precisely and if it but wasn't in terms with of the, the iPad, social media stuff else. yeah yes yes and the social media stuff is that that will happen no matter what i i'm, I'm reminded of uh, do you know the gypsy rose blanchard case i don't think so no. crazy Okay, so the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case, to give you the TLDR on it, is that this girl, uh, her mother it was an insane um, uh, Munchausen by proxy, uh, crazy lady. And um, she made up tons and tons and tons of diseases for her daughter, she, of which she had none, um, re- required her to be in a wheelchair, it, it did horrible, like just horrible shit there. And doctors just let her do it, essentially just let her do it. Mm. For, for years, she raised... Tons of money that, that people made, built them a house after their house got destroyed in, in a hurricane. Crazy stuff. Um, well, she met some dude on the internet. She would sneak onto the internet and, and made it like a Facebook account, met some dude on Facebook. Uh, and then he came down to her house and they murdered her mother. Now, I'm kind of OK with that, considering uh, okay, I, I'm, I'm just saying if you, if you don't wait, hang on. I know that what I just said is insane. No, no, go on, but go if on. you know the entire history of the Gypsy Road Blan- Rose Blanchard case and how abusive her mother is. I'm not saying that it's okay to murder somebody, but I can understand. I can understand why uh, mm. when you're a like 26 year old woman or 27 and your mother is pretending that you're still 17 and you're a child so she can make money off of you. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's some stuff there that's really fucked up, but th- that, so mm. the, my point on all, I'm bringing that up is people will get access to social media 
no matter what at some yeah. point. That woman yeah. was stuck in the most insane environment imaginable mm. and still managed to not only get on social media, but to uh, hook up with some dude and get him to kill, come and kill her mother. Like, it, if you want to be on social actually, media, um, you're going to get on it. Yeah, I wasn't necessarily going to condemn that. Obviously, obviously I, I, I wouldn't prefer that's the way it was no. done. But that I, I get that's not the point. But um, yeah, I think what you've said perfectly encapsulates what I'm describing, that the more you try and stop something that should happen, the, or that's natural, or that desperately wants to happen, the more aggressively it's going to explode when it finally breaks your control. That what you've just linked, what you've just described was yeah, like yeah, the yeah. perfect example because that's extremely <laughs> a strong explosion at the end, murder. But after decades of that, what sounds very much like abuse, um, yeah, that, that's exactly what I mean. So a lot of you in chat, and this is only advice. Obviously, it's your child. You should raise them the way you think it's best. But a lot of you probably would say no social media for the child at all. Whilst the problems do come through social media, that doesn't mean that you can just get rid of the social media. Because social media, again, is not this discreet... Yeah, it's too endemic. Yeah, it's not, it's not this discreet aggressor. It's a platform. It is now the platform. Just like, you know, going socialising with your friends in real life was a platform before, and that still happens, but now social media is part of the necessary platform of human life. Which maybe it shouldn't be, but it is. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. You can't just uh, you can just turn you back the clock on that. And, and you I, have I, to be more discerning than just saying no social media. It's like saying you're not allowed to leave the house because you could something dangerous could happen. It's just it's right, too right. And, restrictive, and they will find a way. For for me personally, about it is that uh, I, I call myself a light side researcher, which is that uh, if you don't know. Uh, there's two general ways that people tend to describe themselves. Uh, I think the dark side researchers probably don't call themselves that, but that's what they are. Is that what is the interesting research is, oh, what are the terrible things that humans do? How are people bad? How are people awful? Mm. How do I just study how people are horrific? That's called dark side research. Um, I've never been a dark side researcher. I'm a light side researcher, which is the opposite of how do people use things to be good to each other? Uh, mm. That's why I've studied video games. That's why I've actually studied social media. In fact, in that there are good things about social media, the one thing that I always bring up in this case is something called um, under de individuation effects, which is uh, anonymity. Um, there's something called the strangers on a, a train or strangers on a plane effect, which is that people are more prone towards self disclosure, which is actually very psychologically helpful. People are able to say things about themselves that they wouldn't even say to a therapist. And just via the nature of inherent uh, disclosure of, of emotions is psychologically beneficial. There's a bunch of things about um, social media and more broadly internet communication, and particularly anonymous, I would say, internet communication that are very psychologically helpful. Or pseudo-anonymous internet communication, maybe, even. So, like, just talking on Twitter. It may, it, like, it mm. might, if you're addicted, that's different. <laughs> if you're addicted, that's a problem. Yeah. But it's not inherently a bad thing. No. It's it's just like, um, uh, well, I don't want to use gambling as an answer, but uh, literally anything that humans can engage with. Water is bad for you if you have too much of it. Social media sure. is bad for you if you do it in the wrong way. Exactly. Um, yep. And it definitely can be, and you want to be careful, but keeping them off it is, is not only unlikely to ever succeed, but is likely to get them completely disengaged with, with, with society, even the good bits of society. Yeah. And this is going to keep kids in Florida. Citizens. This is going to keep kids in Florida outside of some element of. I mean, like I, I, I was talking to people on Final Fantasy XI when I was fourteen. I was talking on Star Trek forums when I was fourteen. Maybe for better or worse. But the the point is that, like, which again, if you're a parent and you don't want your kids to be talking on the internet, to people yeah. limit their internet time. That's on the parents. It's not on the government. Yeah, I agree. Um, now, what I just said applies. Less so when it's just 13 and under, but still applies. Yeah. Yeah. 14, even, I, I would think, I, I get it, but still, mm. I, I think at that point, that's the parent's prerogative. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But this is not, especially on the, on the scale of injustices in present day, this is not an injustice sufficient for me to discount DeSantis as a worthy ally. Actually, more so his run against Trump would, would do that, but he's still a good 
governor for Florida. So, yeah. Yeah. Disagree, yeah. but it's not that bad. Uh, it's not it, like it's not that they the if the parent doesn't want their genitals chopped off by the state, then the parent goes to prison. Like that's the shit we're yeah, dealing with on. on the other side of the aisle. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, I, I mean, I don't like this, but yeah, let's yeah. compare it to what we have going on elsewhere. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if you, you don't you, allow your child to ch- chop their genitals off, they're going to take the child away from you. Yeah. And put them into state care. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that. Uh, People may be getting tired of hearing this analogy, but I think it is worth recognizing. I think it is true that you will probably get a pendulum effect back in the other direction if, and I hope when, we win this culture war and things change, we go back to a sort of more right-wing society. This may be sort of a very early preview, and there's a few other things I've seen that are sort of a very early preview of where that pendulum may be going. And honestly, at this point, yeah, bring it on. I'll, I'll take that over what we have now. Mm, something mm-hmm. else than what we have now we desperately need to change <laughs> and the the current crop of, of republicans that we have in the u.s uh are pretty good like they're better than i would have expected so yeah 